so as you can see it today is a uh, second day of the build and i have uh, made the small connections the solar connections which i have not recorded uh, most importantly i i added this t type connector for the connecting with the battery uh, this is the battery so the battery had a sorry the battery had a xt60 connector i removed that uh, i removed that and put this t connector and so i have put a similar connector the male connector on the power distribution board so it is another important connector as required by my flight controller so uh, you see this connections in the flight controller so this is the battery voltage sensing line which i'm using to sense the voltage of the little lipo battery so this is soldered again to the 12 volt line in the power distribution board so it is soldered to the power distribution board uh, additionally this same power line uh, this same power line, the voltage sensing line, I'm also using it to power up the Arduino Nano. So I had in a few a month back, I had issues with my drone uh, controller switching off mid-flight and it crashed several times. So I, I found out that uh, because of some power issues, the microcontroller was getting reset and then the entire drone stopped functioning. So now I am uh, giving, make, making the flight controller, I am uh, providing the flight controller or the nano with a consistent power line, 12 volt line. This 12 volt line is going to the V in pin of the Arduino nano. So these two connections I have done and also I have seated the flight controller as you can see. That foam, there are four such pieces of foam. This is another. And there are two more on the other side so now the flight controller is sitting on very soft foam as you can see the frequency response or the time constant is very very less so i hope i can isolate a lot of frequencies from the flight controller so these are the major things that i have connected the flight controller the connections in essence the drone is uh, the hardware of the drone is actually completed it is completed uh, next thing uh, what I have done is the radio receiver this is the radio receiver so I am using 5 channels so you can see channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5 so I am using these 5 connections and these 5 connections or the 5 channels are going into the flight controller so there these five terminals are going into the flight controller again uh, the other important connections that I need to make is the ESC signal lines so there will be four ESC signal channel lines that is the signal that will be going to the ESCs to drive the motor so for that there are four ports in the microcontroller or the flight controller so one of them is already connected you can see this is connected so four more will go into place uh, this is actually a difficult very difficult location I am having hard time getting my hands in the correct place and uh, able to insert insert the connector so as you can see there are four connectors there you can see those four connectors dst servo connectors so three more three more connectors will get in uh, it's a very difficult location so that's all about the connections so we are ready now and uh, the one important step that is left is i need to find a suitable location to mount the radio receiver because the battery will be sitting somewhere here the 
battery will be sitting somewhere in here and I'll have some space in the front since I won't be using a camera right now so I'll, I will be mounting this here and I need to secure this antenna because the props are very close okay the props are installed I haven't tightened them yet <laughs> but as you can see I need to uh, route all the wires very precisely because see there is very less space and everything is the propeller since the propellers are 6 inch so it's taking up a little more of space as compared to a 5 inch prop so everywhere I need to route the wires very very uh, with uh, in a very disciplined manner so that is a drone with this I will complete of this uh, video that is the build of our 5 inch 5 inch drone uh, using 6 inch props and using those 2212 cheap motors as you can see I have completed the hardware assembly and the thing that was left out in the was uh, routing the wires the various wires the ESC power cables the servo signal cables and then uh, basically all the wires and then I have also positioned the radio receiver somewhere here as you can see it's, this is the radio receiver now I have placed it on the power distribution board I hope I will not get issues because of rare interference electrical noise so uh, this is all about the hardware uh, I have checked and it seems to be working uh, the flight controller seems to be responding to all the integrated hardware and so uh, shortly I will uh, assemble this final top plate I will assemble this uh, this will be placed on top of this and on, on and on top of this plate the battery will be mounted this is the battery the battery will sit here over the plate so with this the hardware assembly will be completed so here's the final build everything all the the entire hardware all the components the battery has been completely assembled onto the drone right now i'm using this tie to hold the battery but i'll have to get a velcro strap and most importantly with this five inch uh, propellers there is almost zero clearance between many regions of the drone frame and the prop and as you can see here is this gap is just around 5 to 6 mm between the frame and the prop end similarly all the locations the clearance is just enough that I can I have managed to not cause any interference and similarly the these wires the battery power cable has to be tied to the frame so that it does not move during flight because this prop is very close to cable so that way I have uh, this is the antenna or radio receiver antenna I have pasted it right now but this also I will fix it later on a bit more with a better uh, adhesive so the drone is uh, ready right now I will try to do a flight okay let me try that